an all in all a quiet day here across uh, our region. You can see uh, that upper level system that uh, continues to move towards the south and east. Uh, that brought you uh, some of those isolated scattered showers here from western Kentucky and parts of northwest Tennessee. Uh, that has since moved on to the south and east. And if we zoom on into our local radar, not showing anything on the radar for you across the entire area. So expect a clear morning uh, or clear evening and morning for you as you wake up tomorrow morning. Uh, the drought monitor just came in here a couple days ago. A lot of us uh, getting relieved from that drought and we've recently seen a lot of uh, over two inches of rain in places in southeastern Missouri uh, since this has come out. Uh, so I expect even further uh, deamplification here of that drought across the area by uh, next Thursday. Uh, potentially all of us could be out of that drought that we've been dealing with over the past couple of months. Throughout the next uh, night or so, we're talking generally uh, partly to mostly sunny skies for the remainder of the next couple of days. So expecting uh, no troublesome weather here. Even cloud cover is going to be hard to come by uh, through the day tomorrow and even into Monday. Now for the rest of the night tonight, expect temperatures to remain in the mid to low 60s as you wake up tomorrow morning. Again, we'll be waking up to mostly sunny skies. Probably not too much in the way of fog like we have over the past couple of days, but uh, tomorrow morning looks to be a much better morning across the area. Clear night tonight, but mostly sunny warm weather continues for Sunday and Monday. Again, we're talking temperatures getting into the mid and upper 80s potentially, uh, so it'll feel a very warm out there, very summer like, but it'll be dry. Tuesday and Wednesday, though, that's when we start to see those chances for thunderstorms start to increase, and by that point on, we could be seeing uh, just daily afternoon showers and thunderstorms uh, for at least the next week or so after Tuesday and Wednesday. So a very active period for sure. We'll show you that next storm chance here. Uh, that cold front getting closer here uh, late Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. Could see a line of showers and thunderstorms move through uh, in the early morning hours. And then that front kind of stalls here across the Ohio Valley. And so that means uh, continuous rounds of that rain and some thunderstorms, especially as we head through the next several days past Wednesday, uh, it could lead to a, a flood threat across our area. You certainly want to download the Storm Track 3 app. You'll, of course, get those alerts sent straight to your phone if you have your notifications turned on. And you'll also be able to track that radar as it will be quite active here over the next several days. Severe weather potential here uh, also possible with some of these storms, especially heading into Wednesday, late Tuesday night into Wednesday. We'll be watching that potential closely over the next couple of days. The 10 day forecast, though, hopefully you can get out and enjoy the weather the next couple of days. Sunday and Monday features lots of sunshine. Temperatures in the mid 80s, uh, getting into the upper 80s by Tuesday and Wednesday. Plenty of fuel for these showers and thunderstorms as we get into a late Tuesday into early Wednesday. And then, of course, as we extend that forecast out every single day has that chance for those afternoon showers and thunderstorms and temperatures in the mid potentially upper 80s. So a very hot, muggy and potential sticky air mass here after we get past the next couple of days. Mm, indeed, we've got to keep that app handy. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Nick. Yeah.